What's going on guys? It's the Flying Dutchman here and in today's video we're just gonna do a little homestead update. I know I haven't uploaded all this week. <coughs> Excuse me. It's been really busy and uh, I've actually been doing a lot of turkey hunting and hadn't had a lot of time to fly the birds or anything or just put any good content out in general so we're actually gonna go ahead and check out the game fowl and then uh, once we're done with that We'll go check out the goats and watch these rollers for a bit. So, um, we did get two eggs out of the the lavender pair, um, even after the skunk ate them. So, that's good. And I guess we'll see see what we get here soon. I set a trap. I don't think I got anything. Nothing. So I've been trying to trap a skunk or something but haven't been able to catch anything, so. Rollers are way over there, let's see. So, okay, let's go check out the uh, the game. Okay, so, just got these guys their feed. They're all happy, huh? I'll take a look here. So, um, I've been doing some research, and I've always said that this Dom was a well, the guy I got her from uh, said she was a Dom Hatch Cross. And I found out that neither of the, those, so he is not a McLean. He is actually a Cardinal Kelso. And she is a Spanish Dom Cross. Um, a Spanish hen Dom Cross. So, yeah. Um, I just barely found that out. I have a buddy of mine who was really big into game fowl, and he said, uh, I think that guy was just swindling you. And I was like, you know what, I've always thought that you're probably right about that. So, she has been going in there, I don't know when she'll ne nest and start laying, but um, basically we got them some food and water, and um, they should, should pair up here soon. I don't know when. Um, I might attempt to put that big black cock in here if this Kelso doesn't breed this hen, because I don't know what's going on. Um, but they don't lay like normal chickens. They, uh, they're a lot pickier, I guess you could say. Um, but I actually have seen progress. She's going in there to nest now, so that's good. Um, so then, we got him over here. And as you can see, we got him in a new, new cage. Nice and big for him. Plenty of space for just one rooster. Got some rocks in there, got his water. He'll probably flip it over, but I come give him fresh water every day. And that freaking bucket right there, it's super heavy. And, uh, but yeah, they're doing good. I'm actually kind of enjoying them. Uh, you know, I so what I do is I fill that little thing up with uh, feed. Uh, it's a mix mixture of uh, Milo, sunflower seed, cracked corn, I hate cracked corn, barley, and uh, wheat, and uh, layer pellets, uh, just because it takes less grit. Um, but yeah, so that's the birds. They're doing good. And he's been going up there roosting like he should. And I've got this mostly for shade. And it gives him nice shade, but then he's also got that in case he wants to go over and bask. And works out pretty well. Um, so, that's the what I'm calling the cock mafia. <laughs> my my uh, cock fighting. Not really cock fighting. I'm not going to fight them ever, but... I just think they're cooler to look at than they would be to fight. But my, you know, game foul. So... Yeah, Cardinal Kelso and um, Spanish Hen Dom Cross. I just did, my friend told me that. Um, he used to be a cockfighter back in the days. And so yeah, this is a pretty nice sized pen. It's a large dog pen and he has plenty of room to go where he pleases. And yeah, so I just throw some feed in that grass too. I've actually just, all I do is I take this stuff right here. And this makes really good bedding because uh, it's just better on their feet. Wears their feet down. And I put some rocks in there too 
for him to stand on and but yeah it works out good and then I take that feed and I put it in there and then he just brushes it to the side kind of you can see where it's bare right there that's because he has taken it and kicked it to the side trying to look for grain it makes him feel kind of like a chicken and I just think it works real good and, uh, and then there's these guys again happy as ever happy as can be so anyway uh, let's go check out the goats so I'm just walking down from uh, feeding the game fowl and I look at one of our old bales of hay and it must be pretty fertile because no one planted this here this literally just sprouted up and grew we have these flowers over there um, kind of where that rock wall is but I just thought this was neat an old hay from our archery targets we'd shoot like this you know and those pretty little things we might have created an invasive species wish I had some some water in fact I'm gonna go over here and water our little hay plants I never would have thought that hay would be uh, well I guess that's a lie so compost a lot of times is old bedding so I'm actually gonna pick up a little bit of water like this compost a lot of time is old bedding so I guess that makes sense like I guess that's as fertile as it gets but if I had to guess maybe a deer or a bird ate one of the seeds or something out of here I don't know how this got here no one planted it I could can assure you that go ahead and give it some water there we go so anyway, yeah, I thought that was kind of weird. Also, I do want to say thank you to all of you who watch my channel. Um, you know, I get haters, mostly kids at school that are just being jerks. But uh, I have 211 subscribers right now, and I'm really proud of that. It's kind of hard to believe that that's 200 people that watch my channel. And, uh, well, not all of them watch my channel, but you know what I mean. It's just hard to believe, and I'm really, uh, really thankful for that. So, anywho, without further, without further to do, let's go, uh, see the goats. So, <laughs> we got a whole bunch of rollers. Cordon. Let's make sure Dad's on those eggs. What the heck are you guys doing in there? What the heck are you doing? What are you doing? Gosh dang it, that roll down. He's such a weird bird. Something's been getting in here and eating the eggs. So we killed two of our roosters for this reason. You're okay. Look at you. You're a good mama, little bantam. You're a good mama. But yeah, look at how bad that is. We killed those roosters. She was, they, she was getting picked on way hard, so we're like... Screw these guys. So we kept the silver lace and the two little bantams. So we had five. Um, we killed that big, uh, I think it's Orpington. And then we killed uh, the gray bantam. Because they were just nasty. They were just so mean to the little hens. And we got tired of it. There's dad on those eggs. So we got some eggs. I'm excited for that. That's a pair up there. That's a good pair. They're both really good performing birds, so they should get me some good babies. Um, I'm going to get some more rollers, and I've been working on some projects, so that's why I haven't necessarily made YouTube videos recently. So anyway, um, yeah, let's go check out the goats now. Well, before we do that, I actually wanted to show you. Almost dropped my phone. <laughs> 
wanted to show you we picked up some new hay really good alfalfa here um, let's see it's little purple sprouts in there and it's really good stuff so the goats are liking it a lot I could tell so let's go check them out see the kids and Billy Billy's been a good goat but he keeps getting tangled up in his manger so we got to push to the side here and push to the side uh. hey kids hey Willow have you been eating all day are you guys getting big look at him look at him ain't that neat are you getting big Willow I think you are ow sucking on my thumb are you getting big baby girl you know so Willow started to get bigger she actually got bigger than than uh, uh, Finnegan here but Finnegan hit a growth spurt and he's getting bigger now too so and he's also getting real friendly huh Finn more friendly than usual I guess man they got these sharp molars just totally gnawing to ya. So, um, then there's Billy the kid over here. Hey, Bill. Hey, Bill. Are you hungry? No, because I got out of school early, so you're not hungry at all, huh? Oh, shoot. Almost tripped on his tie cord. Are you hungry, Bill? Let's make sure he got his water. Got his juice. Holy cow. I just filled this up this morning. Yeah, he's got enough. So, I filled this up so you can see how much they enjoy that feed. So I filled this up all the way this morning and it's only 2 o'clock. So, I'm feeding them a little early because I'm going to go kill a turkey after this. Um, hunting, that is, you know. But, yeah. So, we're going to go ahead and feed the goats. and Well, actually, I'll do that off camera because that takes a little bit. But... Billy's getting, he's putting on some weight, which is good. Hey, Bill. That's my friend there. He's, uh... <laughs> I like Billy. I mean, he's just such a good goat. He's very shy. But if you have food, he's your best friend. Kind of like Finnegan. Finnegan's getting... In fact, I would say Finnegan is more shy than Billy at this point. But he's getting better. I've actually got to the point where I could pet him. Hey, Finn. See, he's not running away. Hey, Finn. Look at you. Look at you, bud. Yeah. Hey, why do you want all the attention all the time? Huh? Why do you want all the attention? Ow. Ow, i got to turn off my flash. Huh? Always trying to get all the attention. Alright guys, so I really hope you enjoyed the video. I wish I could have showed more of the, the rollers, but this is kind of the homestead update. Uh, what's new and what's not. So, uh, really nothing's new. I just haven't had good content ideas. And so, if you guys want to see some stuff, go ahead and leave a comment down below. And uh, make sure you like, subscribe, check out Hidden Hollow Lofts and Popple's Pigeons, and uh, yeah, so I hope you guys have a great day, night, whenever you're watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next one, and uh, yeah, keep flying guys, stay tuned for more content, and I, again, I'm really sorry that I haven't been uploading more consistently or at all this week, so, anyway, peace out guys, keep flying, Flying Dutchman out.